ladies and gentlemen, Hatton Boxing is very proud to bring you four three-minute rounds in the middleweight division. On the bell, our timekeeper, Mr. Tony Dunkley. Referee in charge for this one, Mr. Kev Parker. Introducing in the blue corner, wearing white shorts with black trim. On the scales, 11 stone, 1 pound 4 ounces, coming to the ring in his 11th contest. From Southwark, London, Victor Ed Duggar. In the red corner, wearing the red and white shorts, trimmed with the three lions and the union colors, weighing in 11 stone, 3 pounds, 6 ounces. Undefeated, two wins, no defeats from Stoke on Trent, Owen Jobber. Times, watch your head, still on any low blows. Protect yourselves at all times, touch gloves. So, very much the hometown boy, Owen Joe Byrne. 27 now, just his third fight. Two fights to date, two For wins on points. And what has Victor Edega got in his locker? Been inactive for a little while, last fight in December 2015. On paper, the record. Doesn't look great with 10 defeats, but of course it can be deceiving. He's mixed in good company. And physically certainly in shape. But Joe Burnt comes out aggressively. Yeah, Joe Burnt's just got to, you know, not be so tense. Got to loosen up a little bit and not lunge in. Just box his way in. The dagger, you know, as, as Joe Byrne pushes him back, looks to, to punch out wildly. And he's just got to be careful, Joe Byrne, he doesn't walk onto one of those shots. A longer reach with a dagger. Yeah. But again, under pressure, he is. As you mentioned, a little wild. Yeah, two good right hands there from a dagger, though. That just stopped Joe Burns coming forward. Again, another right hand. And just to make Joe Burns think a little bit. Joe Burns got to loosen up, loosen them shoulders, move the head side to side. Now you can expect your boxing at home, third fight, a lot of pressure on you. You want to. You want to please, you want to look good. It's a bit ungainly at the moment, not really gelling the styles. It's almost sat on the ropes there in the corner. Hey, Daka. Yeah, John Byrne trying to trying to force the fight, trying to force forward, but he needs to, look, to think about it a little bit more, about what he's going to do when he put the shots together. It's better. Oh, good left hand. Yeah. Very good left hand. It really rocked the head back, didn't it? So again caught the right hand on the way in. It's a messy first round. Very difficult to, to score this one. Both of them's having a little bit of success. Dagger flicks out that jab from, from his waist. You just edge it with Joe Byrne for the slightly better work, more yeah. aggression, the front foot. I think so, I think so. Got, he made a few mistakes, got caught coming in but he was a little busier but he's a cagey sort of fighter a dagger you know a dagger would be better if he was busier he, he, he's allowing joe burn to come at him and then he's just looking for a counter punch where he needs to do something himself he's got that that jab he needs to try and double the jab up and 
take the fight to Joe Byrne. You can see why a fighter with that sort of style would, would be losing fights. Well, the venue here Corners is packed now. Seconds. There's still plenty of action to come before the main event. Nathan Gorman two. and Gogita Gorgeladze. Trying a few things different. Joe Byrne trying to go for the body. And that's Brad Hart starting to pin his man down. Now Joe Byrne. Again, got caught on the way in again. Yeah, it's a, a dagger is just waiting for the, the counter punch. And that's all Joe Byrne has to be wary of. As he comes in, just got to be coming with his hands held a bit higher. Joe Byrne. Just a bit ragged at times again. Good job there. That uh, from Joe Byrne. Tries it again. It's an awkward style a dagger's got. But again, he's looking at the referee there and got caught with the right hand. Yeah, it's hard work in here. He's making hard work of it. Joe Byrne a bit. A dagger not happy. Blow to the back of the head, he reckons. He do well to just maybe you know, throw a jab and instead of falling in on it, Joe Byrne, take a step back. you give himself a little bit of space. As a referee, he's had a bit of work to do in this one. It has <laughs> been a bit scruffy at times. Yeah, not always uh, styles blend. But it's, it's hard work, it's force, it's the will to win that's, that's kind of pushing Owen Joburn at the minute. The dagger spoiling a lot of his good work. Physically, the dagger looks at the much bigger man really in there he's not really successfully using the, the advantages that he has physically no no a dagger always on the back foot always looking for, to count up it looks like nobody's really shown a dagger how to get the center of the ring how to go out and throw a, a couple of jabs and uh, the basics I don't know whether Joe Byrne has had a word with Ruben Arrowsmith, who's also on the card tonight. Oh, that's a good Two, left hand that caught three, Joe Byrne. Four, five, six, and seven, right at the end eight. of the round, just got caught. Well, there wasn't a lot in that. And the, you know, but with the, the rain was on the wall there when you know, he was going forward, he was trying to force the fight, Joe Byrne, leaving himself open at, at times, and then he paid the price there, getting caught with a shot. He's got to think about it a little bit more, think about the tempo. Was he maybe a bit on, off balance as well? It wasn't a heavy knockdown no, no, by any means. It, it, was a, it was a knockdown. It was a knockdown in a round which was a messy sort of round. Mm. So you'd have, to, you'd have to give that for, you'd have to give that to a dagger. Well, in a full rounder, Goals that makes it very, seconds. very interesting, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Doesn't it? Now, whether you're seconds out, it was round a big three. knockdown to give a 10 8. I probably think, you know, Joe Bond won the round with a knockdown, a dagger, maybe 10 9. Well, surely it should give a dagger a bit of confidence. But he gets caught. A stiff jab from Joe Byrne. And the dagger not really looking, is he, where he's throwing those punches. He's looking at the floor and just wild swings. You know, probably got lucky 
with the knockdown, if I'm honest. Well, he doesn't seem to have done anything but annoy Joe Byrne, I think, that knockdown. And yeah, it rightly so. But again, he's, he's trying to do it, Joe Byrne, with, with full force. He's trying to do it with loading his physical up. strength, and he's loading up, and he's showing everything. Now, you've got to be a bit cute with somebody like Pitka Edgar. You know, because a lot of the time, Edgar is not looking where he's thrown. His head goes down, so... You know, throw him a couple of feints and then when his head goes down, bring the uppercut in. I think it, it Joven wants to win so much. And Edgar, a dagger, uh, a difficult style to fight. You made the thinking here, Joven. There's a little bit of chat between the two in there as well. Well, you know, he will have drawn confidence, a dagger. He wants that desperate first win, doesn't he? He's in right hand there from Joe Byrne. And the right hand there. He missed wildly a dagger and Joe Byrne caught him with the right hand. A very interesting fight nonetheless as even though scruffy at times but i think you can see that neither guy has got significant amateur pedigree no. the, the the fighting men if yeah, you like that that, that shows doesn't it? The, the basics are a lack obviously joe man has certainly more basics he knows how to throw his jab but he's, he's just loading up far too much but you know sometimes in fights you have to win ugly and the, this is what joe burn looks to be winning this round he walks into something else Definitely done the, the better round in this. The better work in this, sorry. Looking a bit weary. Well, the third round, certainly in Joe Burns' favor. So he should really. Yeah. be in front in this one but he's got to leave nothing to chance in the fourth round exactly you don't know you don't know if the, the referee is going to put that as a 10-8 round or, or how he would how he'd score that second round because very ungainly not a clear winner in the round then you get a knockdown so you've got to be sure i'd be telling them you've got to go out there and start punch, putting combinations together let them hands go for owen joe burn on the other hand in a dagger, the one I'd be saying, just try to, try to wait from coming in and look, look to land a big one. Just to try and count them on the way in. Corners 10 seconds. Seconds out for the fourth and last round. So the fourth and final round. Our fifth contest of the night here at Fenton Manor. Nathan Gorman, still to come, of course, Gagita Gorgeladze. Got a couple of fabulous contests as well prior to that. Luke Katchi making his debut against Andy Nayland, and Ruben Arrowsmith on the card, Craig Morris, Ryan Fields, Kieran McLaren, and Michael Mooney. Always good value for money. And again, just wild swings there from a dagger. Looking at the canvas. And decent left. That yeah. connected from Joe Burn. Yeah, just left and short right, and the dagger, the dagger just trying to hold him. Very, very ungainly. The better work is definitely coming from Joe Burn. Again, he just drops his head, looks at the canvas, and lets the big right hand go. And that's all he's trying to land. Look his swing and pray stuff. Well, you forget this one, I think it's <laughs> very Owen Joe Burn. He just has to try and see it out. Yeah, 
I mean, it happens in a crew. You get fights like this where you win against someone gamey but strong and, and still dangerous. And it, you know, he's got to make sure of this Owen Joe Byrne. He's all the same there. Tiger. After such a long time out for him as well, you can see that he's feeling it in there. Very much so. And my advice to a dagger would be, you know, get himself into a, a good coach and you know, some of the basics. Then he goes to ground there. There's a push. Kev Parker, the referee, makes that clear. Or maybe the coach just won't listen. <laughs> It's all there from Joe Byrne, isn't it? Trying hard. This is what will win him the fight for me. It's certainly all action, all aggression. He wants to tear up, doesn't he, Joe Byrne? That's, that's, that's his kind of style. Yeah, but I think you learn by this that he smothered his work. Smothers work hasn't looked good. It's been very, very hard. But for me, he's got the win. He's only winning that last round. <coughs> I'm a very mauling, unentertaining fight, if I'm honest. And I think Owen Joburn will be glad to see the back of Victor <laughs> Adaga. Well, will he get the verdict? Still to come. Capchi Nalen next. Ruben Ara Smith. The British Challenge Super Welterweight title against Ryan Toms. A very interesting one, that. Ryan Toms, an awkward proposition. And now we'll get the official verdict on this one. Has Owen Joburn got the decision? Will he have his arm raised? Here's our MC, Mr. Craig Stephen. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to referee Kevin Parker's score totals. 40 points to 37 in favor of the winner. He is still undefeated from Stoke, Owen Joburn. And please, ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation, the man from London, Victor Edaga.